Welcome to my new setup in my studio. I'm going to take a look at this, but I need your help. Let's get at it. So, this is my new setup. Um, and I wanted to show you guys, I'm still trying to get used to this. I'm using OBS, but I wanted to make a quick video um, because I haven't made one in a while. So, um, so this is the new setup. So I have, the cool thing with OBS is I have two microphones, I mean two cameras, one microphone, because um, I've been questioned about how good the sound can be. So this sound seems pretty cool. Um, I'm also doing this long term because with two cameras, when I actually get to do sit down interviews, I'll be able to have two different cameras, one on each, you know, on the host and on the guest. Um, so it'll work out pretty well. But in the meantime, this will be pretty cool because um, with the way this works um, is that I have two different uh, cameras set up. So I'm able to transition between the camera that I have here and the camera that I have there. But let's get into what I'm looking for from you guys. So, um, I'm saying I'm a lot. Maybe I can take this out afterwards. So in doing this podcast, I'm realizing between the couple different platforms that I'm on, I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And within those social media platforms, I have basically another under that different groupings of people that watch this and listen to this podcast. You have the practicing Catholic who is into their faith, um, who's walking with Christ uh, day in and day out, going to Mass, the whole nine yards. And uh, I love you and I appreciate you. I have other people I know who watch this podcast who are what maybe would fall into falling away Catholic or basically just raised Christian but walked away from their faith at some point in their life and kind of like just not really practicing any type of faith. And then I have those who are the practicing of faith but are not Catholic that happen to be Protestant. Um, so within these three realms, and then under that I have the age brackets that listen to this and watch this podcast go from the teenager to uh, the grandfather and grandmother. So within that, I'm looking to see what do you guys want to get out of this podcast. For those of you who are walking in the faith, um, and your faith is very important to you, but you want to be able to share it, my thing is what questions, what topics do you want me to cover that you might be able to use videos that I do here to be able to share with people that you know you might be not be able to explain, explain that you can send to them. You know, those other people who have to fall into the next category of the fallen away um, Christian or Catholic. And what questions do you have that maybe you never got asked? See, I'm Generation X. Um, I was blessed by the fact that I was went to Catholic school, so I was kind of knee-deep in the faith all the time. It wasn't really important to me until 18. I really had my true conversion at 18 years old, and I'll cover that at some point. But I know a lot of people who just... The way they were taught, the way they were categorized was kind of the watered-down Christianity. And because of it, they never made a connection for them. So as they grew up, they walked away because there was no real connection for them. So th the other thing is for those of you who maybe are starting to peer back at the church, what topics do you want to cover? What questions did the priests or your CCD teacher never cover for you that you'll, you want to see covered? And the other one would be uh, from my fellow Christian brothers and sisters, those are the those of you who are Protestant who aren't ca ca Catholic. You look over at us across the aisle a lot of times and go, "What in the world are y'all doing?" So, topics for you maybe you can give to me are why do you Catholics do fill in the blank. Now, if you get any of those of you who've been with me since the jump, I'll be straight up. I am upfront with the fact that I am no apologist. Uh, Catholic apologist, I am no uh, that's people who make a defense of the faith for a practice I practice as an accountant full time um, so this is my faith is just important to me so and I'm not a theologian 
but I want to be able to share my faith in some ways and be able to be a help to others out there, you know, because that's what we're supposed to be as disciples. We're not only supposed to follow and walk with the Lord, but then he turns and tells us to go and get more followers. That's what we're trying to do. And I'm not looking for followers in the ways of following on, you know, I appreciate it. And the follows on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. But those aren't the followers that I'm looking for. I'm looking for the followers where I have people reach out to me and go, because of maybe something you said that you shared about the faith, you know, I'm now walking with Christ. You know, that's that's the key. So this is my new setup. So I, I hope you appreciate it. I realize I wasn't even doing any of the transitions in between. So these are the cool things where I'm able to transition between one one shot to the other. So it's pretty cool. Um, and I'm hoping to keep practicing with this thing and find out what I could do with it. All right. So I'll catch you guys around next time. I'm, I haven't gone away, but I'm still working on stuff. Lent's coming. I have a lot of things on the plate. All right. Hope you have a good day. Peace.